Hey guys, I'm Mark the Geek. In this video, I'm gonna finally review the Nintendo Switch Lite. And just in case you're on the fence between which one you should buy, the Nintendo Switch Original or the Nintendo Switch Lite, I hope in this video I actually answer those questions. Now, first, if you haven't seen the Nintendo Switch Lite up and close and personal like I did on my first video, so this is how the Nintendo Switch looks. Of course, in the back you got the vents. You got vents up here in the back, which in my opinion are way better than the vents that you have on the Nintendo Switch original. Because like I, like I said on my prior video, uh, the vents here on my Nintendo Switch, like you see right there, they disappeared. One day I just woke up and they were not there. Believe me, I, I don't know how that happened, but I guess they melted off one by one and I didn't notice it. And when I actually looked at it, it wasn't there. So that problem I believe you're not gonna have it here so that's one thing to keep in mind of course right here you put your video games right there um, over here you got your volume you got your power button over here in the bottom this is where you're gonna put your micro SD card remember you can actually put up to two terabytes of micro SD card on this on the system and the great thing is that they are dropping prices really really fast so right now I have a 200 gigabyte card on this Nintendo switch which is around $29 I have a 400 gigabyte card on my original and right now you can get it for around 50 to 60 dollars and that's that's awesome and right now I think you can actually actually buy the 512 gigabyte one for around 90 dollars or less so that's incredible but remember you can put up to two terabytes now one negative thing about the Nintendo switch Lite, which is huge because it has the name switch is that this USB-C port is only for charging the system that's it you can't output video you can't dock this to the original dock or any other dock whatsoever to get video out of this system and over here in the bottom you got the speakers instead um on the original you got the speakers at the front pointing at you here you have to actually have the speakers uh pointing down instead of towards you so here you got the d-pad which is awesome this is one thing that i really like about the nintendo switch Lite. playing fighting games here on the nintendo switch Lite is going to be awesome because now you can actually use the d-pad and it works pretty damn good I, bit, I did use it a couple times a lot of times with mortal kombat 11 it plays really good also if you play a lot of classic games yes you can use this as well and it's going to feel better than the stick now of course the other big difference is that this is a 5.5 inch screen versus a 6.2 inch screen and honestly the difference is a lot at first i didn't think the difference was that much but like you see here on the video when you put the consoles together you will actually notice the difference and when you're switching between consoles like i was doing on yesterday oh my god the difference is huge because when your eyes get used to the smaller screen when you go back to the original screen it was glorious i loved going back to the original screen because it was bigger and i could see everything on the screen a lot better so for me i prefer the big screen i also did compare with the playstation vita like you see here on the video i have to say that the nintendo switch Lite is a little bit closer to the playstation vita screen which is a five inch screen than it is to the Nintendo Switch original console. Another thing that this console is actually missing is the HD rumble. At first I thought it was not a huge deal, but when I started playing a couple games that I was expecting the HD rumble, like for example, NBA 2K20, when you shoot an NBA 2K20, that's like a sweet spot where you release the ball and it vibrates a little bit. That, I couldn't feel it here and it felt very, very empty. It felt shallow. I was like, oh man, this is different. I can't, I can't and do shoot like this so it took time for me to get used to shooting with this console because i couldn't feel that vibration so that vibration you're not gonna feel it here because this console does not have the hd rumble another thing about the nintendo switch is that if you're interested on in getting into the nintendo level universe um you're not gonna be able to do it because the nintendo level requires you to use, use separate joy cons it requires the console the console itself the screen itself to be an, at a specific size so yeah you're not going to be able to get into a level if that's something that you're going to think about doing later on in the future another thing that a lot of people are not mentioning is that for example the latest game that nintendo announced was ring fit adventure that uses the joy cons with a big ring 
and uh, it's like an exercising adventure game and that's a game that you're not going to be able to play here yes you can connect joy cons to your console but believe me you're going to be standing running jumping kneeling crouching getting on your back and how are you going to be looking at a 5.5 inch screen when you're doing all that so yeah the experience is going to be horrible can you connect the joy cons to the nintendo switch Lite? Yes, you can, but the experience is going to be horrible. So yeah, if you're going to play, if you're serious about Ring Fit Adventure, you have to get the normal or the original Nintendo Switch. So what do I think about the Nintendo Switch Lite? Do I like it or not? Yes, I do like it. I believe this is one of the greatest mobile devices ever done. It has an amazing library, and if you want to play all those awesome libraries from the Nintendo Switch library, being able to play it on the go or in portable mode is just awesome. If you have just this console and you don't have the original, so there's no way for you to miss the bigger screen, you will not be complaining at all if you buy this, this device and you're just thinking of playing in portable mode. The Nintendo Switch has been in the market for over two years already, and there's a huge, huge library already, which badass games that will look and play amazing here on the Nintendo Switch. If you're actually considering buying Joy-Cons later on in the future, get the original one, because the Joy-Cons are around 70 to 80 dollars so if you add the 200 dollars plus the 80 dollars that's 280 dollars which means you could have bought the nintendo switch um used and i think that would have been awesome because you get the whole experience of the nintendo switch i think i saw it yesterday i was on gamestop and i saw the nintendo switch used for 265 dollars used for 265 dollars and if it doesn't work you could return it so if you're actually considering buying joy cons later on in the future get the original one if you're actually itching and thinking man i would love to play this game on the tv i would love to play astro shane on the tv i would love to play let me see fortnite or mortal kombat on the tv if you're actually thinking about that get the original freaking nintendo switch because that's something that if you're thinking about it now, you will want it later on in the future. But yes, technically you can buy Joy-Cons and connect it to the Nintendo Switch. But believe me, Nintendo didn't want you to do that. They didn't even put kickstand on it. You know, they didn't even put a kickstand so you can prop it up and play video games like that. Okay, so yes, you can do it. But Nintendo doesn't even think you want to do it. Okay, so honestly, if you're thinking about getting joy cons if you're thinking about playing on your tv if you are thinking about making videos for youtube get the original nintendo switch that's all i have to say and if you ask me which one am i going to keep right now and which one would i keep i would have to keep the nintendo switch original because the nintendo switch original the screen i like it better it's bigger which is awesome when you switch from the from the light to the original it just feels awesome playing all these games again on the bigger screen i just love changing or switching from portable mode to tv mode it's just so satisfying and you know there's a reason why nintendo switch named this the nintendo switch and it's because it's meant to switch from handheld mode tv mode tabletop mode now this honestly is not a switch they should not have called it a switch in my opinion for me in my opinion they should have called it the game boy because remember this is going to be their mobile handheld device this is basically going to be replacing the 3ds and and they can't call it the 3ds so one other cool name that nintendo has that identifies them as mobile devices is the game boy they should have called this the game boy device that plays nintendo switch games and everybody i think would have been happy because in my opinion it's not a switch so if you want to buy the real switch get the a nintendo switch original so guys that's it for this video like i said if you see me using the nintendo switch original again that's because i just quit on this and i rather like i said i rather upload videos on youtube in handheld mode on a bigger screen because you can appreciate everything a little bit better than on the smaller screen i don't have a problem taking the nintendo switch original with me and on my backpack because i have a very nice slim case that protects the nintendo switch and as long as you have a nice case that protects the nintendo switch 
you're not gonna have a problem taking this on the go so yes if you ask me which one would i stick to is the original but yes this is still worth buying if you're planning on playing just in portable mode so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about my review and my decisions till next time guys bye bye